Here we go. This is the moment we've been this waiting for. Oh, Ooh. look at the giant meat. <laughs> and he's a master of the club. Yeah, every day. This is the biggest log. You know it's good when you have to cook with a shovel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. We're going to throw the carrot in. Oh, we are the kings of plov. It's a giant plov too, man. Like <laughs> The plov sultans. Ooh, look at the chunks. Yeah. Sloppy delight. There's the meat. Look at that bone. Yeah. It's That's huge. caveman style. <laughs> <laughs> All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James. We just got into Uzbekistan. Welcome, my friend. Uzbek Cruise. We're in Tashkent. And today we're going for a full on Uzbeki food adventure. Oh, yeah, you tell me about it. Like, we're going to have a lot of flow of samosas. We've made a really awesome item for you, and I really hope you're going to enjoy it, man. Let's check it out. This is going to be good. This is it Tashkent, Uzbekistan. And today, we're bringing you in for the world's biggest plov mountain. And for the world noodle tour, we're trying some insane horse meat noodles and the world's biggest dumplings cooked in a tandoor. Get ready for some of the best food in the world. Let's eat. We're just walking the streets of Tashkent. Yeah, man, it's gonna be a meaty day. A meaty day. We are on the road, my man. Are you ready for sheep neck? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be good. This is the biggest rice hot tub. This is bigger than a hot tub. It's a, it's like it's a, a pool. It's a jacuzzi, yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is family size. Family size pool. <laughs> oh, and there's the meat truck. This is incredible. We've got the yellow carrot, raisin. <laughs> The mutton. Everything is ready. Wow. So they don't have to do it here. And there are so many big cauldrons here. Look at this fire. This is going to start the fire on the main giant jacuzzi here. Look at this. Right into the pit. Incredible. This one is a sheep fat. Look how big chunks they are. Oh, so wow. this is the combination of it. And they cook it. And it's a crackling and you can eat it. That's the sheep crackling. Yeah, yeah a little bit of a onion. Touch of onion on there. So this is the appetizer, the breakfast appetizer. Yeah, so best way to do it. Oh, taste with an onion. Yeah. Luxury. Yeah, let's do it. Mm, oh, wow, it's so smooth and crunchy. Yeah. It doesn't feel fatty. Absolutely. This is incredible. And we got the beef cutting station here. Yeah. It's about 70 kg. Yeah, 70 kilograms. We have here a really, really different sections of meat, the lamb and the beef. And it's gonna go right in this giant it's cauldron. Going right in there. And here we go. This is the moment we've been this waiting for. Ooh. Oh, look at the giant meat. <laughs> this is a family size hot tub. Like, yeah, it's giant, man. Look at all the meat. Oh. It's just sliding, you know, it, it doesn't have to throw down. it, it's like yeah. just sliding in. It's like a meat slide. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just going right into that thick yeah. cotton seed. Yeah. Sunflower, Sunflower oil. oil. And mixture. the meat itself has the, like fatty parts, so it's going to be a mixture of different oils. Wow. This is the biggest rice pot in the world. Number one plov in the Number world here. Number one plov, absolutely, man. That's a lot of meat. <laughs> and you can see it's just starting to sizzle. Yeah. And it's gonna melt. That fat is gonna melt into the oil itself. It's really hot because he needs a really like a vibrant color. Look at that, man. Look at it just slide in. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a master of the plop. Yeah, every day. This is the biggest vlog and uh, he does it. Yellow and he's carrot. just throwing whole legs in there, like yeah, no yeah, big yeah. <laughs> There's you know. a leg, there's a leg. There you go. You know it's good when you have to cook with a shovel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and onion. here's the onion. Boom. Okay, and here we go. We're going to throw the carrot in. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Wow. Throwing up some cumin. Oh. Cumin. And other herbs. So this is just one, a bunch of different dishes yeah. of plov. And you can see these are all the master chefs on the wall. We are the kings of plov. It's a giant plov too, man. Like <laughs> the plov sultans. Oh, and then here comes the chickpea. Oh. Just making sure it's in the center. Yeah. But it is really hard because it's oh. too big. And just covering it. Yeah, so probably getting more steamed up more and steamed cooked. Up. And we are waiting for our rice to be added on. But you can see all of these other plovs are just cooking as we speak. We've got the finished one here, which is looking so delicious. They all look similar, but at the same time, they're very distinctive. So that one has, for instance, the orange carrot, and the next one doesn't have it. And some people like that chef's plof, and they can cut like specifically this for these guys. Yeah. Plof. Oh, and here comes the raisin. 
Wow, there's the rice. Oh, <laughs> right on. And now he's gonna smooth it out. Yep, yep, yep. Mazali. It's like Zen yeah, art. Zen art, exactly, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's making a peaceful yeah. love art. And just look at the bubbling cauldron there. All the juices from the carrot have came out now. Oh. And he's just covering the rice with these lids. So upper part will be evenly cooked. Oh yeah. And here we go. It's been boiling for about like half an hour half an or so, hour. yeah. You can smell the meat, the caramelization of the sweet carrots, the raisins, the onions, and that's looking al dente. It's gonna be worth the flight in. This is the reason why we flew to Uzbekistan, to taste plov and lagman. This is one of the iconic dishes right here. And everyone's hungry. Ooh, look at the chunks. Yeah. Sloppy delight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and this is the scooping. There's the meat, look at that bone. Yeah. That's, that's huge. caveman style. <laughs> <laughs> that's dinosaur meat. Yeah, that's a dinosaur bone. And look at the crowd we got now. It's a whole show. Mazali. <laughs> Mazali. Yeah. There you and go. There it is. Ooh. Oh, it's meaty Those heaven, man. Gems. Oh, that's the meat right there. Good job. Oh, yeah. And this is the gosht. <laughs> gosht. The meat. Mazali. <laughs> Masali goes. Look at that meat, just juicy, fatty, saturated with the flavors. And then we're gonna have the plating, yep. which is plated with the horse meat sausage, right? Yes, horse meat sausage, quail leg, and ordinary boiled egg, mm. right? This is for us, man. This is for us right yeah. here. Yeah. Uzbeki plov. At its that. best. Horse meat sausage, yeah. Horse meat, boom. Yeah. We're getting the full deal. Yeah, absolutely. Luxury. Jokes. The gosht. Gosht, yeah. The meat, boom. Yeah. That's it right there. Who's Becky Plav? Rachmat, Rachmat. Let's go. Let's go try it out. Let's go. Wow. Look at the lineup. We're ready to go. Ready to go. Let's go try it out. And this is it. Yep. Look at this giant Plav center. Right. Look it's at all massive. that people. Yeah, man. And here they are. It was Becky Plav. That is gorgeous. We got the mutton and beef fat mixture. And the horse meat. The horse meat. These are horse sausage. So what's the way to eat this? Just go in? Go in, man. Just eat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to take a whole layer. So you have to make sure that you have in. meat. Oh, look at that. The rice is just saturated with the fat. Oh, that's it so, right there. It's our the first spoon, man. Truth. Yeah. Go for it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. That's oh, wow. amazing. That is naturally sweet from the raisin and the carrot. So with the meat, it's a really good balance. It's because so a little fatty and the sweet, it's kind of washes down and one of the best rice dishes in the world right there. I'm, I'm glad you acknowledged it. If not the best. So. <laughs> oh, take the layer up. Yeah, you remove the layer. <laughs> Just go for it. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah? Have you tried the horse meat before? No. It's your first time? First time. Oh. It's like a salted lean sausage. It's quite lean. But with the fat, you get the mixture. Wow. And this place is just packed. Hundreds yeah. of locals All eating All people here. are enjoying it. Look, every day this place is filled. And there it is. The almost empty plov. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time. And we're gonna Let's keep go going. There's more food to eat. And next up, before meeting up with Beck Cruz again for dinner for the biggest dumpling in the world. We're driving out deep into the countryside, into the mountains for a ton of local Uzbeki specialties like horse meat noodles and tons of heartwarming and heavy Uzbeki cuisine that you're gonna love. And check this out guys, we just pulled over at the Charwak Reserve on our way to lunch. Beautiful giant blue reserve and we are gonna keep heading down this way and get that delicious soup. And here we are guys, look at this. We made it out way out into the countryside, into the mountains. We're in Bustan Lok village and right up here, we're at a local little restaurant. We're gonna have some kebabs, local soup, and it's winter and we're gonna sit inside and get warm and have a nice big lunch. And we're going into the kitchen to get the mastava and a bunch of other stuff here. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamualaikum, look at this kitchen guys. Oh, we've got Uzbeki plov. Oh, and this is the bish barmak. Look at these big noodle sheets. This is incredible, look at this. We've got the giant noodle sheets for our horse noodles. This is actually narin. Mazali. So they've just taken those long noodle sheets and they are laying them down. They're gonna let them cool and then slice them into strips. And this is for bish barmak. 
Bishbarmak. Bishbarmak. Look at the noodle sheets we're making. That's going to be the horse Bishbarmak. And that's the sauce that's going to be made with the Bishbarmak. It's a sun dried tomato, sheep fat, and onion. Looks very mazali. Mazali, there it goes. Right into the onions. Oh, and look at this. This is the mixed meat for the horse noodles. We got horse and sheep, and it's a rich. Look at how thick that is. And there it is. That's the Uzbeki horse meat for the Bishbarmak. Bishbarmak. Zur. Mazali. We're going to make the Bishbarmak one by one. Okay. Oh, and here comes the sauce. Sarte. Mazali. Mazali. <laughs> oh. Rakmat, look at that. Ooh. Look at this, guys. We got the tomato onion, sun dried tomato, and she's letting me put it on myself. Rakmat, over here. Okay. And we're gonna put the sauce on now. Wow. Look at that. We got the full Bishwamak station here. And there it is, guys. Look at that. They've added on horse sausage, sun dried tomato, horse meat, and here comes the stock. Oh, Rakmat. And this is the mastava? Yes, mastava. Rice soup. Rice soup? Yes. And here's potato. So we got potato, sheep. Oh, a little water. Oh, that's getting full. And coriander? Yes, yes. Going right in. Oh, and here comes some spice. Oh, paprika. Uzbeki number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and this is it here, the finished version. So we're going to add that on top of a bowl of rice. Oh, there it is. You can smell the goat, the sheep. Soup in. And the soup. 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 Oh, there it is. Uzbeki. Uzbeki stew. Wow, and look at the bread. Onion bread. Uzbeki onion bread. And it goes out to the hungry locals. Let's go see the shashlik. Assalamu alaikum. So not only do we have soup and delicious looking noodles in there, but we got kebabs as well. Shish kebab, we've got the minced lamb kebab with onion, and it's all over coals. It's cold. We're gonna go inside and have a feast. Rahmat, Rahmat, thank you. And we're gonna go in here. Look at this traditional eating area. And check this out, guys. You take your shoes off. It's called a sandal underneath here. And you put your feet under because it's cold in the winter and you stay warm. And here comes the mastava. Wow, thank you. Thank you. And we got samsa. Rahmat. Thank you. <laughs> and you can see the coals go right under the table here. Look at this. Wow. So your feet stay warm with natural fire. Rahmat, thank you. And here comes the beast farmak. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Thank you very much. And there it is, guys. We got the beef bar mock. And they boil the horse, the sheep, and the beef together. And then they actually boil the noodles. Look at those noodles. They look nice and al dente. We've also got an onion and sun dried tomato salad. We've got a local Uzbek salad. We got some samsa, spinach samsa. And then we've got the mastava, which is that sheep, potato, rice, tomato stew. And then also a special yogurt with paprika on top. And then we've got this triple bread combo here. We've got an onion bread on the bottom. We have a milk bread, and then we have a regular bread on the top. Rakmat. And we got the kebab too. <laughs> oh, look at those. And here we go. Let's try these beef barmak noodles, horse sausage in that rich mixture of gamey meat broth. Mmm. Mmm. That is really delicious. And you can see it's got those sun-dried tomatoes in it. So it's got a little bit of that smokiness. It's definitely salty, but it's not overpowering. That's how it should be. A little fatty. Oh wow, and I think I just ate the horse intestine. Wow, that horse intestine. I think that's quite strong for my liking. <laughs> Let's try the mastava, the sheep rice soup. Mmm. Oh wow. It almost tastes like a tortilla soup. The tomato and the coriander. It almost reminds me a little bit of like, maybe Mexican cuisine. Wow, you can add yogurt in too. Look at that. That's good. Mmm. Oh, and then we got the spinach samsa. Oh yeah, spinach and onion. Look at that. Let's try it out. Mmm. Oh, wow. There's a minty samsa with sweet caramelized onions and spinach. But the best part is how friendly everyone is. The hospitality here is worth flying in for. Mmm. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Ragmat. Mazali. Mazali. Thank you. Ragmat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ragmat. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Ragmat. 
Rahmat. Rahmat. Thank you. Mazali, mazali. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. See you. Thank you. Bye bye. And look at this, guys. The beautiful outskirts of Tashkent. Gorgeous mountains in the winter. What a destination this is. And to finish up the day, we're meeting up with Beckrews again for the biggest dumpling in the world. Cooked in a local tandoor with tons of beef and lamb fat and butter and tomato sauce and pepper that's so delicious it's worth flying into Uzbekistan for. Next stop would be for giant samsa bro. Giant samsa. Giant samsa. This is one of my favorite. It's called like Jizza. It's after one of our regions. They're very famous for like huge monster samsa. samsa. Yeah, monster samsa. Biggest like. dumpling in the world. Yes. Here we are. Assalamu alaikum. Let's go take a look. He says, I'm gonna start, start by with the meat. slicing with, the, slicing with the, meat. the ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. So it's beef and lamb fat samsa. Yeah. Juiciest, biggest dumplings in the world. So again, the meat is sourced locally. Usually our meat comes from like mountain areas of Uzbekistan. And Chef Sobir is slicing up the beef so perfectly. And you're saying it's juicy, natural chunks. It's yes. not minced beef. Yes. No, 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 no. And this is the prime ingredients right here. Yeah. Dynamic duo <laughs> the onion, the onion. And, the meat. and the meat oh and then here comes the best part the fat slicing look at that lamb fat that's gonna get mixed in with the beef the best of both worlds beef and lamb fat and he's just mixed in all the spices we've got the salt we got the secret spice mix we got the cumin paprika and then black cumin as well look at this we've got big sheets getting flattened out and look at that that is one skin for one samsa it's like the size of a pizza. Samsa masali. Masali. Samsa masali. Here we go. This is it. The samsa moment. He's going to weigh out the meat. Yeah. You mix it with the onions. Yeah. Direct onto the skin. And then here comes the fat. Right on the samsa mountain. That's a 1 kg samsa right there. It's a huge brick. That's yeah. a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> These are the biggest, most plump samsa you'll ever see. Inched perfect. And then flatten down. Boom. Wow. There's a giant samsa. <laughs> Very big. Oh, almost half a kg of samsa. <laughs> and then the final step, a little bit of egg wash, and then here comes the black sesame, just a touch on top. Ooh, look, look at, at those. It's heavy, bro. Those are heavy. Those are really One heavy. kg each. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Counted, I think it's 24. Right? Yeah. yeah, 24, bro. Wow. Let's take them out to the giant tandoor. Oh. Handling it to the master's hands. And here we go. Boom. He's ready to go. A little water on little the water so you can say he's doing and a little prayer. Boom. Boom. This is magic. I've never seen anything like this. Get the flame on. Yeah, get the flame on so he would continue to keep the temperature high. Boom. Look at the skill it's here. It's really, really hot inside. It's you hot can see on in his there. face. Yeah, look at his hands. His yeah. hands are steaming. Yeah, he's like a superhero. Wow. He's this... going full cyan. Yeah. Almost done. I'm almost done. This is hot. Look at that. You can see that it's definitely intense. Intense, yeah, it's intense, bro. Final samsa. Wow. Final samsa. Bravo, bravo, maestro. And they're gonna cook for 40 minutes. An hour. An because hour. Because it's extra bigger, we have to make sure that it's gonna be cooked. And there they are, the samsa. Samsa. Mazali. Mazali. <laughs> I wanna challenge you, Trevor. It's gonna be fight between me and you. <laughs> Let's see. Can you handle three samosas in a row in a one seat. Let's go for Let's it. Let's play for this. Okay. Yeah. And Chef Sobir is going to pull them yes. out now. Yeah. He's proud of his He's work. He's proud of his work. Yeah. He He's put a lot of work in. Oh, this. absolutely, man. Oh, yeah. this is the scraping tool. Yeah, scraping tool. Here we go. Yeah. Look at those. That's it. That's the first samsa. Looks really good. Zor. Zor, yeah. Wow, look at that. Oh, unreal. You can smell the beef and the lamb fat. And it goes right there. Oh, look at those. Yeah. <laughs> They're steaming hot. We yeah, did it. The dynamic trio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did the most of the work yes. and we're getting all the glory. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go. Rahmat, Rahmat. Let's go, man. Let's go. Please. Look at these beauties. Yeah, watch out. The plumpest dumpling in the world. Let's go. This is so beautiful. Look at that. We made it to the source. Ooh, yeah. The biggest dumplings in the world. Look at those. They're so plump. They're so big. And how do you eat these? For this one, you need a knife. it's so big, you need a knife. Try to open up the top. Top, yeah. Oh, yeah. look at that. Look at that. It's full of the fat. Yeah, it's jiggly. Look, this it's is the bubbly, fat. bubbly. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Little butter. It's a butter. We put it. 
and you make sure that you put it in. And it gets so it melted. Uh, it can be olive oil, it can be sunflower oil, depending on the taste, so you can put a little more Ooh. Ooh, oil. <laughs> then we have tomato sauce. Tomato sauce? Yeah, you take the lid to eat, so what you do, you get a scoop. Look at that, all the butter on top of that gooey bread. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. I believe that's a dumpling. That's so delicious. Can you tell them that's the best dumpling I've ever had? Mm. It really is. Yeah. Chef Sobir totally put his heart into that. And that is delicious. The onions are a little sweet. The beef is juicy. There's a lot of fat. Butter. Look at that mm. fat chunk. Oh, you're going to do the whole thing. Oh, oh, no. Heart attack right there. That's the best stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do it. Oh. oh, wow. And it's seasoned well. It really brings out the natural flavor mm -hmm. and the gooeyness of the bread. Rahmat, see you. Rahmat, Mazali, that was amazing. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Gotta give a big thank you to Bek Cruz. What an awesome city, Tashkent, and a beautiful country, Uzbekistan. Thank you very much, man. We are a very hospitable nation, and we say that we are as good as our guests are. So it's a half of the day, it's a half of the you know part that you did your part. Thank as a you. Guest. So thank you very much. Thank man. you. Thank you. Beautiful.